विश्वास करते हम करते हैं लगा दें नमस्ते जी
the teacher said, now carry these wherever you go and for one week. So, at, so after a few days, the potatoes started getting rotten and smelly. And for the people who had five potatoes, they started getting heavy. So when one week was over, everyone was full of relief. Then the teacher asked, how did you feel when you were holding the potatoes? Everyone complained, it was so smelly, it was so heavy. So then the kindergarten teacher said, now, now, this is what I mean. You, you should never keep hatred against anyone. So, pretend that the potatoes are the hatred that you have in your heart. After a while, it will start to get the it will start to get heavy on your heart and mind, and it will start to get smelly or feel really bad. So this is why you should never ever hate anyone. And the fifth and fifth type of flesh is aginivesh, fear of death. To free himself from these five fleshas, one has to practice yoga, acquire spiritual knowledge, and realize God. Only then can one enjoy the bliss of emancipation. There are different beliefs in emancipation. The emancipation that Vedas talk about is not what other people believe in. The Jainis' emancipation consists of going to Mokshila, slab of salvation, and Shifwa, gracious town, and resting there in peace. The Muslims' emancipation is to go to the seventh heaven, where they enjoy beautiful women, food, drink, dress, clothes, etc. The Christian's emancipation is fourth heaven, where they enjoy good clothes, parties, drinks, and women. The Boranic's emancipation is of five kinds. The first one is Salokya, living with God at the same place. The second one is Saludya, living with God as a younger brother. The third one is Sarupya, to be of the same form as God himself. The fourth one is Samipya, to attend upon God as a servant and to live close to him. And the fifth type of emancipation for the Quranics is Sayyudja, to amalgamate with God. The Sarupya emancipation, to be of the same form as God, is usually not considered so most people see there are only four types of emancipation for the Qurans. To be dissolved into God is the salvation of the Vedantists. For emancipation, the above given beliefs of various religions are not for Vedas because God is omnipresent, all-pervading, omniscient, and omnipotent. Logically thinking, the five kinds of salvation that Qurans believe in are attainable even to animals, insects, and worms without any effort on their part. For emancipation number one, all the places where they live are gods, and therefore they live with God at the same place. Emancipation number two, the soul is being the soul being inferior to God and being a conscious entity like God is like his younger brother. Emancipation number four, God being omnipresent every soul is close to him. Emancipation number five, God being all-pervading, the souls are amalgamated with him. Those who believe that the dissolution of the body into various original elements is the, the only emancipation and that there is no life after death, such emancipation is by itself attained by dogs and asses, etc. These are not emancipation, but bondages, as these people believe in Shifur, Mokshala, fourth heaven, seventh heaven. Therefore, if they leave that place, they will lose their emancipation. Thus, the emancipations of Jainis and Muslims are more like confinements. The real salvation is freedom to stroll at will, without any tech, no fear, no hesitation, no pain. Creation means birth, and dissolution means death. Next week, we will discuss about how many births are there? One or many? Thank you.